from The Donkey Egg by Janet Stevens. Starring Bear, old lazy cranky, worked hard once, but not anymore, needs motivation. Hare, friendly, speedy, always running, wants a rematch with Tortoise. Blanket, warm, dramatic, hides things, multi-talented, has a checkered past. Fox, clever, loves to play tricks, looking for mischief and some quick cash. And cameo appearance by Donkey. Where did he come from? Egg. Green, mysterious, what is inside? Up on the hill lived a grumpy old bear. His farm was a wreck and it needed repair. But Bear didn't care. He just slept in his chair and growled at his neighbors, Fox and Hare. Wake up, Bear, cried Fox. I know you want to turn this place back into a mighty fine farm, grow some mighty fine crops, and have a mighty fine life. But you need help, and I've got just the thing. Grrr, growled Bear. What thing? Ta-da! A donkey. That's not a donkey, cried Bear. Not yet, but it will be, said Fox. It's a donkey egg, a genuine certified donkey egg. Still green, has to ripen and hatch. That's where you come in. Keep it warm, safe, and happy like a little mama bird on her nest. It will take time, minutes, hours, days, weeks, months, so be patient. Then, voila, a donkey. As you know, bear, lots of animals come from eggs, dinosaurs. Chickens, platypus, alligators, and donkeys. It's the truth. I can see it now. Your fields are plowed, your house is painted, you and your donkey sitting on the porch watching the sunset. What a deal. And it's a steal. Today only, 1995. No way, said Bear. Fox sighed. Okay, I'll settle for that $20 bill. Sold! It's a done deal. Fox scooped up the cash, disappeared in a flash, and all that was left was Bear in his chair and a gigantic green donkey egg. That fast-talking fox, muttered Bear. Now what am I supposed to do? Then he remembered. Keep it warm. So, like a big mama bird, Bear carefully sat this way and that, He sat and he sat, tickety-tock, clickety-clock, minutes passed, no donkey. Did you know that one minute equals 60 seconds? It takes about a second to sneeze. Ah, achoo! A hummingbird's wings beat about 70 times in one second, so fast that you can hardly see them moving. It takes about a minute for an ice cream cone to melt on a hot day. It takes about two minutes to brush your teeth. Neighbor Hare had just begun his daily run when he squeaked to a halt. Bear, you're out of your chair. I'm sitting on my donkey egg, growled Bear. What? Donkeys don't come for eggs. Yes, they do, cried Bear. Like dinosaurs, chickens, alligators, platypus, even tortoises. I'm keeping it warm so it will hatch. Been sitting for a whole hour. No donkey. Well, you keep sitting and I'll keep running, said Hare. Got another race with Tortoise. Off went Hare, leaving Bear to sit. And sit, and sit. Mustn't quit. Tickety-tock, clickety-clock, hours passed, no donkey. Did you know one hour equals 60 minutes? 3,600 seconds. It takes a spider about an hour to spin a fancy web. You blink your eye about 1,000 times in an hour. Your heart beats over 5,000 times in an hour. What do I do now? Then Bear remembered. Keep it safe. Bear cradled the egg and sang, rock a donkey, my little one. Ripen and hatch, there's work to be done. If there is danger, I'll be there. 
you'll be my donkey, I'll be your bear. Again, air screeched to a halt. Bear, you're rocking and singing in your chair. I'm keeping my donkey eggs safe, replied Bear. Been rocking all day, no donkey. Well, you keep rocking and I'll keep running, said Hare. Gotta win that race. Off went Hare, leaving Bear to rock. And rock, and rock. Rockety rock, tickety talk, <laughs> clickety clock, days passed, and no donkey. Did you know one day equals 24 hours? That equals 1,440 minutes and 86,400 seconds? One day is about how long it takes the Earth to spin all the way around on its axis. Most chickens lay one egg per day. Bamboo can grow up to almost three feet a day. If you grew three feet a day in just one week, you could be taller than a house. Kids laugh about 300 times in one day. Grown-ups only laugh 17 times. Now what? Then Bear remembered. Keep it happy. He told Egg a tale of a girl and three bears. Fables with tortoises, foxes, and hares. Bear acted out plays where he played every part. Again and again until he knew them by heart. Bear pointed his toes as he leapt through the air. He played peekaboo hiding under his chair. For the third time, Hare screeched to a halt. Bear, you're under your chair. I'm playing with my donkey egg, said Bear. Keep it happy so it'll hatch. Been playing all week. Still no donkey. But there will be. Bear grinned. So you keep running and I'll keep playing. I'm going to hatch that egg and you're going to beat that tortoise. Off went Hare, leaving Bear to play and play and play night and day. Tickety-tock, clickety-clock, weeks passed, no donkey. Did you know that one week equals seven days equals 168 hours equals 10,080 minutes and that equals 604,800 seconds? Through the wind and rain and snow, Bear stayed. He sang, he sat, he rocked, he played. He loved that egg with all his heart. Never was there quite a pair. Bear and egg, egg and bear. Only napping here and there, Bear grew tired. Really tired. Really, really tired. He couldn't keep from falling. Falling fast asleep. Zzz, plop! Roll. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, no, shouted Bear. Help! Egg on the loose! Hare's ears perked up. Egg on the loose! Hare to the rescue! And the chase was on. It was Egg out in front, Bear close behind, and Hare bringing up the rear. Around the turn, Egg leading, Hare speeding, Bear stampeding! Across the road, Egg tumbling, Hare stumbling, Bear fumbling. Through the field, Bear thrashing, Hare dashing, Egg crashing. Crack! You don't see a watermelon the whole part of time. My donkey hatched, cried Bear. I've got him by the ears. Ouch, those are my ears, hollered Hare. Can't you see? It's not a donkey egg, it's a watermelon. But it can't be. Fox said it was a genuine certified donkey egg. Fox? Gasped Hare. You believed Fox? Bear hung his head. He tricked me. Fox tricked me. No donkey egg, no baby donkey, no nothing. There wasn't a sound as Bear looked around, and there on the ground, guess what he found? Seeds! Bear had an idea. I've got work to do. Well, you start working it out? Hare paused. Oh, who cares about a silly old race? For hours then days, Bear and Hare tilled and land. They weeded and planted and watered by hand. For weeks then months, the plants grew and grew. May, June, July, they were growing into watermelons everywhere. To market, to market, went Bear and Hare to sell those melons. And what did they buy? What do you think they would buy with all those watermelons if they sold the watermelons? Ta-da! Off ran Bear with Donkey and Hare to fix up his farm that needed repair. And all that was left was 
Fox.